Hi, everybody. My name is Chris Law. I am the chair and organizer of the Digital Accessibility Legal Summit. Uh, and I have with me Kevin Hara and Angie Matney uh, of Reed Smith. And uh, we're going to be talking about uh, 10 years of leaders. This is a follow up to our disability and inclusion in the legal profession panel that took place last year in 2021. Kevin. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, it's it's pretty remarkable that now leaders, it's you know celebrating a decade of our mission, which uh, we started out in 2012 after the London Paralympics, and we really wanted to focus on recruiting and supporting persons with disabilities of all types in the legal profession because um, you know there there was just uh, such a dearth of people in the legal profession with disabilities or who identify as having a disability. But we know that there's a large talent pool of persons with disabilities out, out there. Um, and we know that there are so many capable individuals, as many as uh, perhaps 20% of the population identifies as having some kind of disability. And Reed Smith, our firm, has been very supportive of our business inclusion group leaders whose, whose goals are really um, to support persons with disabilities at all steps from recruitment through retirement. And as times have changed, we've seen an increase in our membership and leaders. We've seen an increase in the number of attorneys with disabilities at Reed Smith, um, but we realize there are many challenges ahead and there's a lot we still have to work on. Uh, and, but we're proud to be a disability confident organization and some someone who uh, our, our whole team are from senior management down who really embraces diversity, equity, and inclusion, uh, not just disability diversity, but all types um, as a mindset and a way of thinking as part of our core values of our firm. Thanks, Kevin. It's uh, good to hear about that program. Uh, it'd be great if there were many more programs like that, but uh, I think you are a leader in terms of your approach and in terms of the title of your program, I think that's uh, very apt. And uh, Angie, you were saying uh, that uh, uh, the, the existence of leaders is one of the reasons you uh, uh, took a job at Reed Smith, is that right? Yeah, um, thanks, Chris. Yeah, I'm a relatively recent uh, joiner at Reed Smith. I started uh, in January of this year and leaders was definitely one of the uh, biggest attractions uh, of Reed Smith to me. Um, of course, it was also important that this would be a place for me to grow my practice, and I've definitely found that to be the case. But what really uh, drew my attention to Reed Smith in particular was leaders. And um, I had sort of determined that if I were going to leave my previous firm, um, which was a good place to be, that the only other firm I would want to go to was Reed Smith, and it was because of leaders. And what I have found as a new joiner is that leaders, as Kevin says, um, partly through leaders, Reed Smith is, is a disability confident organization. There were, uh, there have been supports in place to help me integrate as a new counsel to the firm. And I'm excited to see leaders continue to um, help the firm move forward. Uh, some of our recent efforts have focused on digital accessibility specifically, and we are looking at ways to make sure that internally um, employees with disabilities, um, with different types of disabilities and in different positions, have the technology and the resources that they need to do their jobs. Uh, we have appointed a chief accessibility officer. Um, and so there is real attention being paid uh, to these matters um, and, and, you know, work that's, that's being done. And it's part of the general diversity commitment of the firm because Reed Smith recognizes that 
these different perspectives are valuable, but in order to take advantage of that, sometimes we need uh, some technological assistance that, uh, you know, to um, work on various projects and so forth. And there's a real commitment to making sure that employees have what they need to do their jobs. And it's exciting to, uh, to see that develop and just mature and go forward. Well, thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Angie. Uh, it's good to hear about uh, the program, and I wish you continued success. And uh, in celebrating your 10 years, I uh, look forward to uh, more great things in the future. And I think spreading the word and uh, letting other co companies know about this program, uh, it's a win-win all around. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us.